Hey, Michael. What's up? Um, hi. Um, I just wanted to make a, a comment. After growing up in the United States, I I went to Canada as a as a young person when I started working, and I experienced single payer health care for years. I I raised my two daughters. You know, I had uh, you know elderly in laws, uh, friends, and uh, the propaganda that gets. I mean, I'm living in Arkansas now, uh, and the propaganda that gets pumped into the United States, you know, about the Canadian healthcare system, really is BS. You mean you don't have to wait uh, for years and years to get to get a hip replaced or to or uh, to have emergency surgery if you're if you're bleeding no, out? No, 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 no. But you know, but United Healthcare and their lobbyists or whatever want to keep on pumping, uh, you know, pumping that kind of information out. American right. people wake up, wake up and, you know, and get behind candidates that, you know, that are going to do a, a single health care pay system, you know, whether it's Medicare for all and even the Democratic candidates that are, you know, that are halfway or two thirds or three quarters or let's do it over 10 years. It's that's BS. Mm -hmm. The United States, you know, uh, can afford it because there will be a 50 percent savings immediately you know, by instituting Medicare for all, and I'm not worried. You know about the executive uh, executives from uh, United Healthcare that are knocking down 85 million a year and paying little or no tax on that money. Right. So, so the major insurance companies that are involved, you know, in healthcare, they are an insurance company. They are not involved in healthcare. Like you say, they don't give a shot. You know, they they don't bring you a bedpan. You know, why are the American people having a third party rip them off in order to, you know, treat illness? You know, health care should be about treating illness and making making things better, not having a handful of people get richer and richer and richer. And that's what the American people need to yeah actually understand yeah i'm with you michael but but they, see they, they, what reagan would say what the republicans would say is you've got to have for-profit health care because of freedom well government you know government paying the bills yeah. is tyranny don't you realize people in canada are victims of a tyrannical government well i experienced it for 36 years and i never ever felt more free because i never had to worry about whether or not i would be in a bankruptcy court because i couldn't afford for a surgery so freedom the people in the united states do not have freedom because they don't get the proper medical care that they deserve uh, and so when you want to talk about freedom you know the people in canada are much much freer than the people in in the in the united states just based on that one subject matter yeah i mean i could talk about guns too